Hi everyone, my name is Jorge Vidaurre. I work as an analytics engineer in Mercado Libre. And today I want to share with you our history and some learnings working with Looker and Google Cloud Platform. So first, uh, let me tell you a little bit of me. Uh, I've been working around technology over the last years on, on multiple things. Uh, I remember I started building some content marketing like landing pages and websites and then moving to web applications on the cloud. Um, finally, doing web analytics, uh, search engine optimization, and conversion rate optimization. Finally, always looking uh, for growth. And in all this journey, I realized you need data to succeed. And the most data proficient you become, uh, better and faster results you get. So that's why I've been fully dedicated to work with data in the last three years with Mercado Libre. So for those who don't know about Mercado Libre, Mercado Libre is the leading e-commerce and technology company in Latin America. Uh, it was founded in Buenos Aires, Argentina, but today we operate in 18 countries across the region, serving more than 400 million visitors every month. It started as a marketplace but then evolved in these complete uh, ecosystems of different solutions, such as our online payment solutions called Mercado Pago, also shipments and credits, and lastly, uh, advertising. We are getting very good outcomes and we keep growing fast. Uh, and I think this is the result of always placing the user as the core of the strategy. This year, we became the most valuable company in Latin America, uh, a title that makes us feel super proud. But we also take with, with humility and, and the responsibility of keeping doing things well. So to give you an idea of the size of the company, this is how it looks like Mercado Libre in numbers today. A 21 years old company uh, with more than 40 million users, serving around 2 million orders and shipments every day, and also handling more than 7 million transactions per day. All of this thanks to the more of than 12,000 people working in the company and the more of 4,000 developers. This actually makes Meli, as we also call it, a, a great place to innovate uh, full of smart and committed people where I'm happy and proud to collaborate with. But talking about data, it's certainly a petabyte scale challenge, uh, even maybe more already. So working on this operation and with this scale, we perform analysis over many, many different data systems, such as our relational databases, uh, different software as a service data, APIs and network logs, among others. However, the primary duty of my team is to coordinate collection and governance of the data in the Google Analytics 360 platform. As you might guess, we don't have just one account for all Mercado Libre. Instead, we have different accounts for each country, but also different properties and views for different sites and business units. This map should give you an idea how we collect data across the region and their volume. For example, just in Brazil, in the last month, we collected over 14 billion hits between page views, screen views, clicks, and impressions. And today, we are using around 150 custom definitions. So for those who know the BigQuery export, you can have an idea of the size of that table with unnested data. This might sound like big numbers, but the truth, it is not so big if we compare with the data volume of Meli data or undeveloped data collection systems 
which is more detailed and flexible. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this at the end. So going back into GA360, um, besides other internal data systems, there's a big relevance of collecting data on Google Analytics if you are also using other Google services, such as paid search or videos, or if you want to export audience into other platforms, such as uh, Ad Manager. In our case, the amount of data and the way we have implemented Google Analytics started making hard the process of getting results fast. So to get to the details we wanted, we started using the BigQuery exports. Uh, the experience was just great. We, after understanding this concept of the nested data and the columnar architecture of BigQuery, we started running queries over 100 of terabytes of data and getting results in just seconds. Something pretty cool. But, but then we started facing other challenges like how we speed up information delivery without being a bottleneck or how, how we open this uh, incredible processing power but also being cost efficient. Um, finally, how we ensure consistency of calculation uh, across different teams working with data. So we were working on different approach to solve this when we hear about Looker. So the first things we did was um, understand how Looker APIs will SQL. And we went to this GA360 blog and review all the definitions for dimensions and metrics and how they match with the BigQuery export schema. And on top of this blog, we built our own custom solution. Now, let me show you how we did. I'm pretty sure this is not the most elegant look ML you probably saw, but I want to share this with you because I think this is pretty good to understand uh, how you can use LookML not just for describing dimensions and metrics, but also to build Dynamics Explorers. So as we manage more than one GA account, we also manage more than one BigQuery dataset. And over VQ, if you want to query more than one dataset, you can do it by using something called wildcard tables. So what we did here was create just one Looker Explorer with the Google Analytics accounts as filter suggestions and using liquid statement to iterate over the applied filters, creating the SQL wildcard table on the fly. It is something simple but powerful that allow us to query all the data set at once with just some clicks and saving a lot of time. For those who don't know what is Liquid, Liquid is a template language that is also part of Looker and you can use it to apply dynamics on your LookML. But going back into the result, this is how it looks like. Choose one Looker Explorer with all the countries uh, accounts as suggestions with all the dimensions and metrics from the BigQuery export schema, and also all the dimensions and metrics from our custom definitions available for all the users with just some clicks. Pretty cool. So when we understood this concept and its power, we realized we have the power to go everywhere. So in addition to help us explore our data, uh, we also use Looker to optimize uh, the BigQuery performance. So uh, for example, with the BigQuery logs block help, uh, we found opportunities like uh, don't query extra data if you don't need it. In this case, we, we, we customize the session metrics to sum from the total views into some instead of making account of all the unnested hits. So uh, it was a lot of uh, different amount of data. So with this uh, and using an appropriate culture policy, uh, we achieved excellent uh, performance results on BigQuery, having average uh, around three seconds per query. So we grow from 10 
x the number of queries passing from thousands of queries to hundreds of thousands of queries maintaining the same performance. Of course, I can ensure uh, you can get the same results. Uh, uh, certainly depends uh, of a lot of factors like uh, the way you have implemented Google Analytics or uh, the number of slots uh, allocated in the query and the way you consume your data. So, so far, our journey has been learning a lot of SQL, a lot of uh, running SQL programmatically uh, with LookML, uh, enriching our models, enjoying different data sources, and, and finally understanding all the data as part of the same history. And now we work into uh, with some different use cases to empower people to take actions on that data. So I want to share with you some examples of, of things that we did. So the examples, the, the first one is our seller central data point, as we call it. It's uh, an interface that we, we create to enable our teams to navigate data and find relevant information about our uh, e-commerce operations, such as the orders created, the payments, the shipments, and so on. Uh, but this is, isn't just about transactional data. Uh, another exciting use case uh, is our mobile team, uh, which has started using uh, and create uh, their own content based on the Firebase, Firebase exports. Um, basically, we enable them to explore the apps, events, the performance, uh, and messages, and push notifications, and even the Firebase predictions. Um, not just just creating content. Uh, another uh, great example is uh, the Slack integration and uh, the idea of the Action Hub, the Looker Action Hub. With this, we we pretend to change the information flow by automating the data delivery uh, through the Slack integration. So this allows us to change from people going to data by data coming to people. And um, finally, I want to share with you another way you can use Looker and their APIs. So as I mentioned you, to you, over the years, Mercado Libre has developed their own data collection system, uh, which we call uh, Melidata. And unlike other software as a service or relational databases, Melidata is very flexible and dynamic, it's continuously changing and evolving, basically because the, it's built for over 4,000 developers to, to provide them the freedom and flexibility to collect data. So to maintain this uh, a model, a looking model uh, over this uh, over this uh, a schema, it's, it's it's actually a challenge. Um, but we find a, a really cool ideas in the, in the Looker communities, uh, and with a little a bit of Python, as it, this slide shows. You can use Jupyter Notebooks and, and, and Python to query the, the schema and update and generate their lookML as a part of the production flow. So that is the most exciting thing that we are already doing. And I hope you, this can be helpful for you. Well, so finally, we are looking at everything with different eyes. The world is, you know, continuously changing. It's, it's, the world is movement, it's, it's music. So we, we, I think we should get used to consume data more like a, in a stream or, or a movie instead of just seeing pictures. Uh, and if you got here, uh, thank you very much. 
maybe you are getting similar conclusions and I and I believe you are also called and invited to help others to build great experience and systems uh, over data. Well, that, that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, thanks a lot to the Looker team, to the GCP team, and, uh, and of course, the Meli team that uh, cooperate and collaborate with these presentations. Bye-bye.